More than 7,000 families do not have access to their EBT benefits. The state canceled the cards because of a possible scam. We have team coverage on this big problem tonight. We'll break down what the state is doing and why the cards are compromised. Let's begin tonight with WFMY News 2's Daniel Cruz. Chad, thieves have caused headaches for thousands of EBT cardholders this year, from card skimmers stealing the card numbers and the PIN to the latest scam targeting people by text message. Right now, 7,000 people across the state are receiving that receive nutrition benefits are waiting for a new EBT card after the state canceled their old one. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, those cards should have been compromised by that latest scam. A spokesperson for DHHS says they are not aware of any supplemental benefits being made available for families while they wait on their new card, but in the meantime, food pantries are preparing for the additional need. I mean, we, we are going to do our best to serve those in the community. Again, uh, we have so much support from our faith community, from individuals, congregations, and folks in the public who say, no, it's not right that people are hungry. Starting Monday, the state will officially launch a program aimed at reimbursing families that have had their benefits stolen. Let's break this down for you. To qualify, benefits would need to have gone missing after October 1st of last year. Food and nutrition benefits, as well as SNAP benefits, are eligible. Beneficiaries must complete an affidavit form to request the reimbursement. That document is available online or at your local DSS office. Once you submit the documentation, it should take about 30 days to get your benefits reimbursed. In the very beginning, we didn't know if they were going to be replaced or not. Um, so now that they've gotten that information from the USDA, the state has had time to put a plan together so that now the local DSS can uh, carry that plan out. Now we do have a link to that affidavit that you need to get your benefits back on our website. Once you fill it out, you can drop it off or email it to your local DSS office.